Hey, what's going on, my friends? This is Dave Sharp. Welcome to Wake Up Legendary. Uh, we've got a fantastic guest this morning. Um, a young person, a young person who almost gave up, but uh, they asked for help instead. Helena, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. You're very welcome. Um, where are you calling in from? Um, Denver, Colorado right now. Okay, okay. Yep. Nice. So tell us, give us a little bit of your history and, you know, how you came online and then how you found Legendary Helena. Yeah. So I'm currently in school right now doing my bachelor's degree in construction management and engineering. And just throughout like last semester going to site visits and having people like come and speak in our classes, I realized that wow, this job's probably going to be more than 40 hours a week as a construction manager. And that doesn't sound fun. I want to be a mom and I want to be home with my kids and stuff. So I was on TikTok one day and saw something about affiliate marketing and it led me to Legendary Marketer. And I was like, you know what? I have nothing to lose. I live under my parents' roof. I go to college, might as well try it. And so that's how I started it. And I'm really glad that I did. Mm. Yeah. What's happened since you started that makes you so glad that you, you started? Um, definitely probably TikTok's going really well. I have like almost 29,000 followers, which I never thought I could ever get in my life. <laughs> so that's super cool that I have a following and people want to hear from me and ask questions and stuff. So yeah. Makes yes. me feel accomplished. <laughs> You're 21, right? Yes. Yeah. So how's how does it feel to be both making money, but also be positioning yourself and in, in almost becoming an authority out in the world, you know, on a topic? No, it feels really good because I feel like the earlier you start, the better. Just like with anything, even any type of making money or investing, the earlier you start, the better it's going to be in the long run when I actually want to have a house one day or start a family or get married. So hopefully mm -hmm. by then it'll be like established really well so that that can work out and give me some extra cash flow. <laughs> Yeah, um, I always hate to ruin people's college plans, you know, um, yeah. <laughs> but I, I guess the, the best thing, you know, without going off ranting and raving and, and throwing college under the bus because, you know, it's, hey, it is what it is. Have as many backup plans as you can. Have as many uh, tools in your tool belt as you can. Um, but uh, but But this is pretty cool you know, compared yeah. to, you know, cause I come from the construction world as well. And you're mm -hmm. obviously taking a different route. I was just a, a grunt, a nobody you're going to be, uh, or, or are at least have, have been wanting to be, uh, uh, somebody who's involved in bigger projects and management and so forth. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care what part of construction you're in. <laughs> um, I don't care if you're in the trailer, you know, because that's what you're in. You know, you're, yep. in, you're in a trailer out on a construction job before the building's been built, right? Exactly. Or if it's being remodeled. So whether you're in the trailer, whether you're out on the field actually doing the work, um, it, 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 there's nothing better than being home or out on your phone and building your business. Um, and if that's something that's got, got, you know, becomes a fallback for you, that's fantastic. For me, tile work is always a fallback for me. Mm -hmm. I can always go in and in, in start a tile business because I know that skill. Um, and so, you know, it's good to have things to, to fall back on. But Internet marketing was also for me the um, the 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 home wrecker in a sense, because it messed up all of my plans and gave me a better future. I just didn't know it. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, I'm hoping that it messes up my plans. I'm going to finish my degree, like you said, to have that backup all the time. But I mean, hopefully it can change my plans for the future and not have to apply for a job. <laughs> so what, what were some of the things that you think you did right? And what were some of the things that you feel like you wish you would have done different as you were getting started, even as far back as going through the training discovering us, getting started, going through the training. What do you wish you would have had done different? And what do you think that you, you're you thankful that you did it that way? 
Yeah. Um, something I guess I wish I would have done different is maybe ask for help sooner on because I felt like, you know, it's kind of hard when you're all alone and you just feel like, oh, I need to figure this out for myself. Like all these challenges, like everyone else did it. I need to do it. But I should have just asked those questions earlier on so that I would wait, kind of don't waste that headache of being like, ah, like, what am I doing? And so that's one thing I would have done different. And, and, and that's what we've titled this episode. I mean, we actually yeah. are to title this episode, new entrepreneur almost gives up, but reaches out for help instead. Since you just brought that up, would you mind going down a little bit deeper and telling us what that scenario was all about and, and exactly what happened? Yeah, I think I just didn't find what worked for me because I started kind of going the Facebook ad route and paying daily for like ads and stuff. And I just wasn't getting the results that I thought, you know, so I reached out to the people in the Facebook group and to my business plan advisor and was like, is this normal? Am I doing something wrong? And eventually I reached out to a girl that um, also did Legendary Marketer and she was kind of telling me what she did and that she was doing TikTok and it was really good and all that stuff. So that's when I was like, okay, I can like switch it up and try something else. I'm not just stuck with, you know, this Facebook ad route. Like there's so many different routes and I just need to try them out and see which one works for me. Mm. And so that's kind of what helped me. And as soon as I heard that, I switched over to TikTok and ended up taking off. And now it's really been working out. Hmm. And it's free advertising, the best part. <laughs> right, right, right. Free traffic. There's no yep. <laughs> you get any better than that. So <clears throat> what do you feel like um, you, 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 since you've gotten started marketing on TikTok, for example, what do you feel like you've done really well and and what do you feel like if you were new just getting started you would tell yourself to 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 do differently um i do feel as if i'm doing really well on tiktok i wish i trusted it more in the beginning because i mean you guys even discuss how there's that fear of showing your face and talking to the camera and just like putting yourself out there like especially for people close to you that know you, they're going to see your videos and you're like, Oh my gosh, what are they going to think of me? So I wish I kind of just like, didn't think about that. Cause I think that's why I was kind of avoiding that route when it was the best route for me. So I think I should have been a little more open-minded and tried it and not cared what people think because at the end of the day, it's you and your life. <laughs> exactly. Have you <laughs> And family and all the fears that you had have those come true anyways no not at all at first when i started i saw some people like oh i found your tiktok and i was like oh gosh <laughs> they know me this is weird but as soon as you start getting a little bit of a following you feel like you're more credible and you're like yeah now everyone can look at me and see what i'm doing because I have a following or something like that. <laughs> I guarantee you that one thing is is half of the people's on here's problem because I'm already seeing it. Yeah, I'm nervous doing the TikTok thing. Sammy, um, Vanessa comes straight out and says that's what the problem is. Yeah. Um, you know, and then even Kristen, wow, that's exactly what I've been saying to myself about not wanting my family and friends to see me doing this. I'm going to take your advice. You know, mm -hmm. it's, 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 that's my problem, Sandra. I don't want family and ex coworkers to see what I'm doing. You know, mm -hmm. Lache, I get that. Um, you know, so golly, this is a problem. So, <laughs> yeah, it's well, hard what let's go back to that i mean what what did you say to yourself and now i just want you to reiterate that yeah what did you say to yourself and now have any of the fears that you feared about the big you know discovery you getting exposed and embarrassed for your i mean for god's sakes we're, we're it's not like we're we're doing you know 
I mean, I don't know what are some of the things that we might be ashamed of if we were doing them online. I'm sure we could list a few. This yeah. is not one of them. I mean, yeah. for God's sakes, you know what I mean? Yep, exactly. If I could be doing online, I wouldn't want my mother to see. This is not one of them, you know what I mean? I could yeah. show you guys a couple of things that you might be embarrassed for your mother to see. Mm -hmm. Anyways, <laughs> that, that doesn't matter because your fears are all, they seem real in your head. Mm -hmm. They seem just as real in your head, even if you're having a conversation. So what talk us through that beginning and, and how real that was for you. So some other folks can relate to that and then what you did to get over that fear. And if any of those fears have come true. Yeah. I mean, you can even see, like, if you go on my TikTok, my first couple videos are very like quiet and I almost come across very shy because I like, don't want to embarrass myself basically. But I got to the button because I can hear that voice under there and you you can you can get loud if you need. To. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And I was always like holding back and kind of like almost like whispering when I was talking. But then I got to the point where I was like, I don't care anymore. Honestly, if I make a fool out of myself, who is going to remember this in a year that Helena had this TikTok that was awful or something, you know? who cares is what I really had to get to the point of is like, you are 21 years old. You should really stop caring what these other people think because they're not even going to be in your life. So what are you doing? <laughs> well, a lot of you are much older than her. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, so, uh, yeah, for real. Like, I mean, for, for me too, I ask myself that all the time. I mean, I, I regrettably don't get to say you're 21. I have to say, you know, you're 38, Dave, what, 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 how long are we going to play games? You know, I mean, how long are we going to play games? You're 40, 40 or 38 years old, man. I mean, some of you are older, 55, 65. Like how, how long are you going to play games? How long are you going to live your life for somebody else? How long will you live your life worrying about what somebody else is going to think, what somebody else is going to say? And the truth is, is that the only negative thoughts that people have about us are just when we challenge really what they're doing with their lives by, you know, sh by us pers pursuing our dreams. You know, sometimes people get jealous and or mad at themselves when they see us going after things that we want only that they're not going after things that they want and it makes it mad and, and uh, they project that onto us. We do the same thing to, to other mm -hmm. people, but um, good for you. Good for you that you, 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 you got over that in a sense, you have to get over that no matter where you go. Imagine if you were serving burgers and fries at a fast food restaurant and there was a countertop that was out in the front, sort of out in the middle of the, there's going to be some there's going to be some uncomfortability there that first week of you at that fast food restaurant serving burgers and fries being out there in the open exposed in your uniform your corny uniform whatever how it's not your normal clothes mm -hmm. you're going to feel exposed and embarrassed so the question is is choose your pain you know do you want to continue recreating this uncomfortable fear-based ritual to where uh, you know, you don't take risk or why not? If you're going to be uncomfortable, just go for the gusto, be uncomfortable going for something big, exactly. you know I mean? go, be uncomfortable. Like for me, I'd rather be uncomfortable going for a thousand dollars than uncomfortable going for 20. Mm -hmm. It's the same level of comfort. And that was one of the things that blew me away, Helena, about making money was I realized shit, there's somebody who's no different than me in terms of body, human being. They're not of a different species. And they're sitting in a room in a building somewhere else. And they just made, you know, $23 million today from investments and things that have changed and moved in the stock market and maybe from their business. And I made a thousand. And what's the difference between us two? There's no real difference. Yeah. The difference is the amount of risk that we took. And, and you know, at 21, you're taking risk. And uh, it's a big lesson or muscle to develop because as you get older, the last thing you want to do is be living your life 
worrying about what everybody else thinks. Exactly. But it's so hard not to do it, you know, when we're in the moment and we've got that camera mm -hmm. rolling. How was it for you to get used to being on camera? Um, I guess I would just make sure that I feel good about how I look on camera. You know, I'm not like, oh, no, cover up that zit or something like that. Like, if I feel good about how I look on camera, then I feel okay posting it and okay with people seeing it, you know? And so I kind of is that it's if it's it's how you got to feel good about how you look in it huh yeah that's i mean especially if you that's have your face true. in it that's a truth for you huh that's that's you know? for me yes so if you look like hell in a handbag <laughs> but the content is fire you ain't gonna post it um i pr i might it depends because there's some videos where i don't look the best but i'm upbeat and i'm going for it so it just kind of depends. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want people seeing this. And sometimes I don't care. <laughs> but I'll just like re-record it, if anything. Yeah. So, yeah, it works out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, so you are, I just put your TikTok handle there, Helena Suggest. Yes. I'm getting, a, I'm getting a, a, an error message there on the one you all posted in. in uh, in slack there why why am i getting that helena suggest on tiktok i'm getting a oh here it goes here it goes here it goes okay um nice nice you look so young in so many of them <laughs> i know <laughs> sometimes i honestly feel old though. i'm like i'm turning 22 this year like what <laughs> Wow. And you, uh, you live in uh, Colorado, is that right? Yeah. We, my wife and I just got back from Colorado. We froze our asses off. Um, Did you come this weekend? <laughs> at last week. Oh, okay. That's probably when the like blizzard hit. <laughs> it was a dry, there, we were in the city and there was no snow and it, oh my, I just couldn't even think. My, <laughs> my blood almost stopped pumping through my veins. It was so bone chilling cold yeah it gets really really cold like even last night we went sledding in like midnight it was like zero degrees out <laughs> oh that's fun though i mean it was fun yeah, yeah. I, we, we didn't do it we were in denver and boulder and there was no snow so it was just that dry bone chill yeah i've been putting on lotion probably twice a day living here <laughs> oh are you not from there Oh, no, I am from here, but, like, it's bad this year. It's way drier than usual. I'm like, oh, I need to up my lotion routine. It's right. Global cooling. <laughs> cooling. I you agree. Heard about that. Who knew that global cooling? You've only heard about that global warming. <laughs> All right. So um, what what would you recommend people go through our education here and what has your experience been like with with our you know staff here our advisors and our community yeah i would say just really take advantage of your business plan advisor and those facebook groups because those are probably the most helpful because at the end of like the 15 days, or if you do like the business builder challenge, like I felt really confused. And luckily, like there's somewhere to go when I felt confused rather than just being like, okay, I guess I'll check Google or YouTube, you know, and see what I can find. No, I can actually like go in and like message my advisor on Facebook Messenger or make a post in Facebook and have a ton of people get back to me. So that is what I would really take advantage of because I feel like some people don't want to like be a pest or don't want to ask too many questions. But like, I, I didn't care. I was asking my business plan advisor every question that came to my mind. <laughs> well, the other thing that's different about legendary is this is not a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So you're not bothering just one person. Mm -hmm. You have a whole entire community of thousands of people who are you know, pretty much basically on standby, at least online and willing to help. Um, and they've all gone through similar, you know, education. They're all doing something similar, or familiar with what you're talking about. 
And um, I like that personally because, you know, I can get so many different perspectives. And if somebody's not available, I don't have to get all or I don't have to feel like I'm bothering somebody. I get that. I mean, that's a that's a common thing. Yeah. So if you're thinking about enrolling in our challenge or even our business blueprints, know that in each of those programs, there's lots of people to help. And the other thing, obviously, is is this show people. I think, you know, it's undervalued how much you can learn from watching people mm -hmm. and hearing these conversations sort of behind the scenes. So, um, so, uh, what's next for you? I mean, what, now that you've sort of got a foundation of confidence, you've gotten some results, mm -hmm. what, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you <clears throat> have your eye on next? Um, I'm going to keep up with the TikTok thing. I want to keep growing my following and just get bigger and bigger. And I think it like worked out the best for me. So I'm going to keep up with that. I'm graduating in December. So that's awesome. And I have like a part-time internship I'm doing. So I'm like really comfortable with where I'm at and like the amount of things that I've taken on my plate. So I'm going to stick with what I know and what's working. And if it stops working, then I'll probably try to figure out something else. But as long as it's working, I'm going to keep with it. <laughs> and that's a great, that's a great philosophy. If it's not broke, don't fix it, you know? Exactly. And, and I would, I would, I would urge every single person to, to try to find today what's working in your business and um, focus on that. And, and, and instead of all the other things that we can get you know, distracted by focus on the things that are working or the thing that is working mm -hmm. and do more of that. Yep. If you're wondering what you should do today, find what's working and do more of that. Instead of trying to dwell on what's not working, what you feel frustrated about, what you feel is not good enough, find out what is working and do more of that. And thank you for that thought, because mm -hmm. I think that's a great massive monster tip and in a great place to to leave it so thanks for your time and uh come back and you know keep us posted on your journey here in the future if you would helena of course thank you guys for having me all right take care stay warm and uh, we'll talk to you soon okay sounds good all right be legendary also um you guys can go and follow helena at helena suggest uh, on TikTok, TikTok and Instagram, Helena suggest, uh, and that's suggests with an S at the end, Helena, H E L E N A. That's Helena suggest S U G G E S T S. Remember to text W U L to eight, one, three, two, nine, six, eight, five, five, three to get, uh, little text message in the mornings when we go live with a quick link to be able to watch the show five days a week, Monday through Friday, you will learn so much from sitting in on these conversations, just from little things that come up um, that if you listen to this for the next year, you know, but if you have a hard time with commitments, the next 90 days, you will know so much more than 99% of marketers and online entrepreneurs just from listening into the show. That doesn't even include buying our programs and then you know using the knowledge that's inside of them. If you do that, you're gonna be in the 100 percentile in making money, okay? That's not a guarantee of income, but that's you're not gonna make money from watching the show. That's what I'm trying to say. You can build a business and make money by getting trained and then using those skills in a, in a specific way. That's what we teach you to do. But even listening to the show, you're going to get more knowledgeable. You're going to, um, yeah, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to know more than 99% of people. So make it part of your daily routine, make it part of your daily routine to listen to, to, to the show every day. Um, don't not pay attention just because you're not paying for it, which is a big mistake. I think that a lot of people make is, you know, if we don't pay for something, we don't really pay attention to it. There's so many different functions in this community that you can be using to work for you that just make sure that um, you you keep doing more of what's already working and then continue to use all the resources inside of this community 
so we can help support you every step of the way and you can be fully prepared and equipped to succeed. My friends, let's rock this Thursday, February 3rd, all right, 2022. And we'll see you back here for another episode tomorrow on Friday. Good night.